hello welcome to my channel we are here for a car chat i meant to do it yesterday yesterday got away so we're gonna do a car chat i don't have anywhere to try on clothes so we're just gonna do a car chat and then i'm gonna tell you 10 tips on how do you know whether you should buy that gift set holiday set of like skincare hair care etc um but first just a little car chat um I have been a single mom for two weeks. My husband is in Spain on a business trip. He comes home tomorrow, hopefully no plane delays. I will say my hat goes off to every single single parent. Um, it is just exhausting. We also have zero family um, anywhere, three, like a three hour radius near us. So I am on my own. There is nowhere to drop my daughter off if I just want to run errands or have five minutes to myself. Um, so I just do not know how single parents do it day in and day out. It has to be the most exhausting job ever. Um, so I'm very thankful that my husband's coming home tomorrow. Uh, and then on top of that, literally like day three of being a single parent, my Jeep started leaking oil. Uh, um, I've talked briefly on my Jeep, um, I think on one or two of my videos. Honestly, it's the worst purchase ever. It was my first kind of splurge. We've always been very conservative on our cars and it has been a disaster. Last year, pretty much the things under the hood that can be replaced, except for the engine got replaced, transmission, all of that, thankfully under warranty. I really wanted to get a new car then. My husband was like, no. Um, and I wish I would have listened to my gut. Something happened this summer to my car and again, I wanted to get rid of it. Um, and this is just the kicker. I will be getting a new car. Um, I am not the person who gets new cars all the time. We had paid this, my Jeep off. I didn't want to get a new car, but I just can't. The warranty's up in January and I just can't. Um, I feel like we got a lemon, but it was too late to do a lemon law thing. So anyway, the car happened right when I started single parenting. Um, so it's a nightmare. Now I'm trying to decide what car to get. I want an SUV, but I want it to be good and reliable. So my friend has like an account for Consumer Reports. Honestly, if you go by Consumer Reports and you like, let's say like 75 out of 100 is your cutoff, there's not much to buy. And then on top of that, I need certain leg room, um, which my Jeep didn't have. I didn't realize it was till it was too late. I've had two knee surgeries and I like my leg to extend. Otherwise it kind of bothers me when I drive. Um, and so I was kind of thinking, well, I originally always wanted to buy American to kind of honor my dad. My dad worked for GM. So I was looking at the Buick and then just randomly out of nowhere, I looked at the window sticker. You can see those online. It's 90% parts made in China. The vehicle is assembled in China. So pretty much 90% China made. And that just bothers me because what's the point of buying an American? if if it really all the workers that are getting paid are in China. Um, and so, you know, my uncle kept recommending Toyota or Honda. So I was looking at the Toyota Highlander. It's assembled in Indiana. I almost felt like that was a sign. Um, so I don't know, this may seem extreme, but right now I'm sitting in a rented Highlander. I rented it for like two days, just because I didn't realize when I bought my Jeep that it didn't fit my leg requirements. Um, and so I want to make sure, because I'm not into like buying cars. So the Toyota Highlander has a good rating on Consumer Reports. Um, fingers crossed I like it. I don't know whether it has enough leg room for me or not. So I don't know. But that's the car drama. I'm hoping to solve that soon. Um, anyway, then I wanted Halloween nails. And I have Halloween nails, but I feel like I have to be better at advocating for myself. I really wanted a painted design. And I don't know whether when I called, the guy didn't have anybody to do paint. But I wanted like a ghost. I had these really cute like inspo pictures of like a jack-o'-lantern face or like purple with a white ghost. But I wanted it hand painted. And they just, he said that they would do nail stickers. And it's okay. Um, but like I really wanted like a hand painted pumpkin, not a sticker. I don't know, first world problems, but I need to learn to advocate myself and say, no, I really wanted hand painted, not stickers. So anyway, um, I am gonna go into Ulta. This is kinda, I don't go to Ulta very much because there's not one near me, but where, I use Turo by the way, and if you hadn't heard of Turo, it's like private car rentals and sometimes they can be cheaper than, you know, like a 
a car company. So I, it's, it was, it's near Ulta. Otherwise Ulta's out of my way. So I'm going to go into Ulta. So if I get anything worthwhile Ulta, I will tell you, although we are losing light. It is 610 here and it is going to be dark. So anyway, let's do some tips. <laughs> I printed them off because um, otherwise my list is on my phone. How to know what to buy for Black Friday or of the gift sets. And number one, you really have to do some math. Do not at all trust the number they put on the box. Sometimes they don't even put a number on the box. Is it a good price or a good value? And you really have to do some deep diving if you care to, because there are some sets that number one, don't save money or pretty much save like 50 cents or maybe like $5. They're not an award-winning sale. Now some of them are, so you just, ha some are better than others. Uh, I know a lady I follow has done like the best and worst of like the Sephora gift sets. It's amazing how many aren't a good deal. Um, Number two, is that a product that is never on sale? So there are lots of products that never have sales except for like Black Friday or in a gift set. So that's a good sign that, you know, that would be a time. If you've always wanted to try Drunk Elephant, Drunk Elephant isn't known for sales except for Black Friday uh, or things like that. So if it's a brand that you've been really wanting to try um, and they're only on sale Black Friday, that is a good time to buy. Um, number three, have you been wanting to try it for a while? So if you've been wanting to try it, but maybe the price is too prohibitive, again, when it's on sale or in a set, sometimes it's worthwhile. Number four, is it something you're almost out of? So you're going to need it. That would, you know, it would make sense to then save some money. Um, number five, is it a product you go through quickly? So it's worth to stock up or to save. Um, because if it's a product that lasts a long time, you know, I don't know if it really matters as much, but things that go by fast, you want to get the best price. Um, number six, is it something you know you will repurchase anyway? And again, you're almost out of. So you know you're going to buy it. It makes sense to get it when it's on sale. Um, seven, especially for the gift sets, will you use each item? If there are 10 products in the set and you're only going to use five of them, it is probably not cost benefit to buy the set. So you really need to use all of the items. And if you're not going to use it, is there an item in there that you would gift? So you really want to get your bang for your buck and make sure you're going to use each item in the set. Um, eight, is the set a lower price? And that kind of, I guess, is the same as number one. Um, so I don't know why I put that. But again, make sure the set is a good deal. If it's not saving you a lot of money, um, it's not always the best. And so again, if you're not going to use all the items or it's not a better price, there's no point in doing it. Like somebody was, I just, I think probably the, the lady I watched was just showing the Char Charlotte Tilbury, I think the face mist. She has two minis for whatever price. You would get more product. Um, so if you if you went by how much the ounce costs per dollar it's better to get her bigger size of the setting spray um like cost per ounce so you really have to do your math is it better now sometimes sets are nice because maybe you wanted to just try a product you don't know if you love it so sets are kind of nice because you get a sprinkle of products you get to try um I feel like I have, I feel like I got, maybe I went back to add to my list and I'd already had it because I put, are you almost out and repurchased it? Anyway, I don't know where I've gone with that. Um, and then my last one, so I don't really think I have 10 at this point because I have two duplicates. Um, can you afford it? If you can't afford it, you don't need to be buying any of it. Um, from what I've seen of like the Sephora sets, there's nothing I'm really going to purchase. Nothing is wowing me. I'm kind of waiting for Black Friday. Um because Black Friday, a lot of places have, even the Charlotte Tilbury's generally will have 30% off and they don't, I don't think go on sale. So a lot of places will have 30%, 40%. Some have crazy 50% off, but um, I'm happy to get like 40% off. 
So um, I think I really need to, I might get a Redken dry shampoo. I've been having issues with my hair getting like the first day wash is great and then it gets dry. Um, and I didn't think I needed my Redken dry shampoo, but I think I do. And that they have the big bottles generally 40% off. And so the big bottles also save you money. So then they're 40% off. Um, so I am waiting for Black Friday. Um, because the Sephora gift sets really haven't inspired me. The Skin Fix um, moisturizer, it was a really good deal, but I have so many moisturizers right now. So that's another thing. Do you need it? And that's probably on my list. Like I have so many moisturizers. I don't need another moisturizer for at least three or four months. I need to go through them. So, you know, there's no reason for me to be hitting up even a good sale because I already have too much. Um, so I am really not going to probably do any of the Ulta or Sephora gift sets, but I often like Target. I'm interested to see how Target goes because Target now, a lot of them have Ultas in them or something. And so I'm interested. Um, Target usually has a lot of like gift sets um, with Bliss or different brands that aren't necessarily, you know, like Sephora gift sets. Um, Sorry, I am getting a cold. Again, I don't know how I can get two colds. I feel like I just had a cold and got over it last week and now, or two weeks ago and now I have a cold again. Um, so anyway, my nose is running. But I love their little gift sets. And their little gift sets are at a more price point where I'm not so worried about the value, although I do tend to st stand there and calculate it. But a lot of their like fun little gift sets are like 20 bucks, 15 bucks, 30 bucks. And so they're not necessarily break the bank. And so I like getting like a little bliss set so you can try the different ones. Um, so I'm excited to see what like the Target, like I guess really Target, Walmart doesn't really have that good of gift sets. Um, but I'm really excited to see what Target has. And I'm hoping their, whatever you would call, relationship with Ulta doesn't affect, um, doesn't affect the, I've lost for words, doesn't affect their other gift sets. Anyway, those are my tips for should you, you know, buy the gift set, should you not. Um, and of course, if you have the money and it makes you happy, buy all the gift sets you want. All right, I am done. I hope you have a great day. The only reason I'll be back is if I buy anything or find anything at Ulta. Um, I would love to know where would you like to see me try clothes on next? I really love the car chats. It's been so hard to film. I think my daughter's getting older and it's just hard to find time in the house to film. And these little car chats, throw your phone up, film are just really handy. Um, I wanted to do Nordstrom, but my Nordstrom had literally almost nothing. Uh, if I liked anything, it wasn't in my size. Macy's had nothing in the plus size. My Walmart is so sad. They've gotten rid of the plus size section. I mean, hello, what? And sometimes they do carry things up to like a 3XL, but it's, they just, I don't know. My Walmart has changed. They took away the plus size section. Um, I've been wanting to try JC Penney's. So JC Penney's might be my next um, shop and chat. But if you guys have a location you would think um, I should shop and chat at, let me know. I would love to try Lane Bryant, but they all closed down. So I feel like a Lane Bryant is like a 40 minute drive. So I really don't want to do Lane Bryant. Um, let me know where should I shop and chat at next. All right. Thank you. I may or may not be back. But anyway, if I don't see you again, have a great day. All right, change of scenery by the time I got about out of Ulta, the light was gone and I could not car film. Never mind my red nose. Anywho, I did do a little mini thing of Ulta. I used to think that I didn't like Ulta and I think the only reason I don't go to Ulta is that it's a bit, it's just out of the way, plain and simple. I really enjoyed walking around. I got three things. I really like that they have both like, I don't know, higher end plus drug, drugstore, but I'm fairly sure the drugstore would be cheaper at Walmart. Um, I picked up this, it's my favorite lip oil at the moment. It's also very affordable, the NYX Fat Oil, uh, $9 in store. I think Amazon might be eight and change, but it gets goopy inside after a bit. And I wanted to just to make sure that wasn't like the shipping with Amazon having it be so hot. Uh, but anyway, I love this. To me, it's like a lip gloss that's moisturizing. Um, it's not like an oil at all. I love this stuff. Um, 
And I was mentioning earlier that, well, you can see the frizz anyway, but like my hair will look really good wash day. And then I feel like the air all of a sudden is getting dry because I guess because of the winter and it's like zapping the moisture out and then it looks frizzy. And so I had never thought to try something like this, but this is by Dry Bar called Final Call and it's the Frizz and Static Control Mist. It's rather pricey, $29 for five ounces. I'm afraid I'm gonna love it and then it's expensive. I'm hoping this is one of those where you use it once and then you don't need to use it every day. Um, I looked up the reviews in the store. Now they had a mini theoretically or travel size, not in store though. I would have liked to have done the travel size just to try it out. But the reviews were, I think, pretty five stars. Like it got really good reviews. Everybody was saying that it really um, uh, zapped the frizz, helped the frizz. And I think this is what I need. I don't feel like I need to change up my shampoo, conditioner, or hair oil. I'm thinking this might do the trick. And then sadly, I need to check because one of my big Black Friday things I was gonna purchase was the Dr. Brandt face mist. They seem to have discontinued it. Um, I thought they were bringing out a new one. I don't know, the last time I checked on their website, there was no face mist and I loved it. My skin loved it. So I saw this toner by Bliss. Oh, the cat just hit the thing. Um, I don't generally like toners because I don't like putting them on the pad and putting them here. I was going to try putting this in a spray bottle and see if it would spray. Um, this was, I think $17. Niacinamide PC plus poor vanisher. Um, I love niacinamide and let's see if I can read it here. Um, I could read it in the store. Um, niacinamide Camilla sensitive, which is green tea, which I love. This had, I believe, rice, oat, um, witch hazel. It just had some really good ingredients. Rice and oat are good at calming my redness. So I thought, why not try this? I have not found a replacement face mist for my nighttime routine. Um, so I'm hoping this could be it. Sometimes these things gunk up a spray bottle. Uh, I'm just gonna try it and see. 10 ounces, I'm not sure if that's, I think that's a decent price. Anyway, so that's my little Ulta haul. I really enjoyed walking through Ulta. I also took a video of the Tarte mini palettes. I think that's an example, and I'll show, I'll put that on after this. I think that's an example of, I'm not sure you're saving anything. I didn't sit there and calculate. I don't know how much a full size palette is, but you get four minis for $54, but they're minis and there's a lot of the same thing. So unless you're gonna gift give it, I don't know if that's a good deal. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. So this is one of the like gift sets that people say to be aware of. I mean, it's $54 and you do get all of these, but they're minis and there's a lot of repeats. So unless you are going to be able to gift some of the sets, it might not be the best value.